Greetings, Kenneth Wyrick here. There's a new Odoo 16 that's out, and I've just installed it through my conventional methods of using Portainer on my server, and I wanted to make this recording to show you how it builds the website. So let's do it. Or is this a business, online, a blog, event, e-learning e platform? Let's make this a business website and let's make it a non-profit, non-profit, I I need to put the hyphen profit organization since that with the main objective to inform customers get leads develop the brand schedule appointments inform customers all right let's upload a logo and so then it selects the the palette for us there automatically based on the logo let's add all of these by clicking on them career live chat e-learning shop privacy policy build the website so it's loading now it's going to give me a choice that's the one i've been using This is the default. This is one that. Let's try this one. So now it's going to take a little bit in terms of setting it all up and getting it working, installing everything so that it will have all the pages and can do all the things that it needs to do. It does take a little while because it's physically loading it. After this is done, the last thing I'm going to do is go in and actually look at all the apps that it installed. I installed the one website app and it then has dependencies and so it will install other apps and I want to see what all apps are loaded with the website app. So I'm already logged in. I put this on one of the servers and basically used a, a single file, an Odoo, a Docker file, which we see here on the GitHub, Odoo 16 GitHub, and I loaded it into Portainer as as a stack and now it's actually running as a docker container which you don't have to know all that about but it's really easy just from that one file <coughs> they created these two containers and um, and so that's pretty much it looks like it's still building here we pop back in here so this is Odoo 16 so now I have 11 I have 14 and about four five maybe six different 16 uh, 15s and now they've come out with 16 Oh, there it comes, just as I was ready to say. So that took a little while. So now let's go and see what what is actually here. So it brings us right into the editor. It has the logo. And then now coming. I am logged in. That's cool. It kept me logged in. I can go to apps. Oh, I activated the website 
app, but it also installed invoicing and it installed sales. It didn't install the CRM and it didn't install inventory. It did install the e-commerce. There's manufacturing. So the apps in in the purple are ones that we can activate time off expenses project is one that I will do for sure email marketing it installed employees by default that's upgrade learn more maintenance look at that field service schedule field service that's Nice. Oh, it installed e-learning by default. It installed discussion. It installed events. It installed calendar. It installed live chat. It installed blogs. It installed forum. All by default by installing that one online jobs because I clicked on on that and then here are a bunch of payment gateways Amazon payment so they've added Amazon I don't think that was in the other one look at that eBay connector which you have to upgrade for that notes okay so that's what I wanted to to see is 16 this is my oh it takes you right straight to it. it doesn't take you to the analytics anymore so oh do 16 thank you very much